What's up? Welcome back to Stoke to Shred, guys. Um, we are out here right now in Moon Rocks, Nevada. Or Sparks or Fernley, whatever you want to call it. Uh, we just came back from a little break-in ride. It's about uh, one o'clock right now, and um, we've got the car all nice and prepped. Shocks are warmed up, and everything's good to go. I got my trusty assistant with me today. Isn't she pretty? Anyways, <laughs> so today, this video is going to be about these right here. If you guys have not seen these, they are sway bar links for this Pro XP. And what we're going to be doing is replacing this little cheap thing with this bad boy. Huge upgrade. I am definitely going to love it. I already know this thing sways a lot and needs some more stability. If you're looking for stability, this is the way to go. Huge upgrade, you guys will love it. I'm gonna do a little install video for you guys, so stay tuned and uh, we'll get this thing jacked up and ready to rock. Woo! All right, so what I've done is I went ahead and tricked these bolts off right here. Just loosen them up. And you're gonna reuse these guys. So put those things back on there. And then what you're gonna do is you're gonna take your new link and your old link, measure them up and kind of keep them the same. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna undo this guy. Here. Get a, if I have to get a wrench, but you might have to get a wrench to undo these. And you're gonna want to put that jam nut there. Well, I'll do this. You're gonna want to basically make them even. So you want to keep the same length as the old one, just in the new one. Whoa! All right, so now that we've got this thing kind of adjusted to mock up the stock one, got it to be the same length. And uh, what we're gonna do, so I'm gonna put this thing back up in here. You gotta make sure these jam nuts are in there too because without them, they're not gonna be able to go in there. So put that thing in down in there. I don't know what to do with the bolt. Reuse the stock hardware. Bam, there's that. This goes here. And then we get that. That's the shitty part about working out here. <sighs> Dropping your stuff, it gets dirty. But what's great about these is the not only is the fact is it's a lot stronger than stock, but I mean, they're fully adjustable. So once you have these on here, you can adjust them to be, if you want your car to ride more stiff, you, all you do is just basically twist this thing up and it tightens the, the link up. If you want it to go a little bit softer, you can kind of just take back some some uh, some threads and it's good to go. Right now I'm kind of running it out of stock and I'll go and kind of adjust it as I needed, kind of take a couple turns, make it a little bit tighter. These are all nice and tight you'll notice this is kind of loose so what you're going to do is you're going to take your adjustable wrench and use these jam nuts right here tighten that up there All right, so we got that other side done. Now we're gonna go ahead and repeat the same thing on this side. That bolt goes through there. Make sure that jam nut's in there. Oh no. Right 
boom. All right, so they're both tightened up. Right now they're sitting at stock, which is not gonna put any more tension or anything like that up against it. So we're gonna drive it on there, drive it with it just how it is right now and see what the difference is and then we'll make the adjustments as we go. back sorry guys i'd left you guys hanging i uh ran out of camera battery i know it sounds terrible but we were having way too much fun filming just how much these things right here these assault links helped but i realized that i ran out of storage space i ran out of battery and i had no way to finish this video so a couple days later got this thing nice and cleaned up and I want to talk to you guys about just what I thought about these guys right here. And I have to say that first and foremost, you can definitely tell a difference. It is crazy. Um, there's a good section of me going through a wash, which I'll show right here. <laughs> And as you can see through that wash, like you notice that the front end, it just, it's a great way to, that's what I was really having a hard time with is going through that wash. When I have the shock set at the softest setting, just to get over the, that bumps and chatter, it was the end of Thanksgiving weekend. So it, it was rutted out. It was rough everywhere. And that wash is something that I really love to go through. And I like to go through there fast. Um, earlier in the season, it wasn't as bad. There was kind of just kind of cruising. But um, now with these new shock therapy springs, um, the tender spring or the, the dual rate spring, I guess is set up a little bit softer on the top and a little bit stiffer on the rear. But with that being said, the like slow, like low bump, slow bump compliance on this thing, I guess when you're going a little bit slow is a little bit softer. So these things right here came in handy. I highly recommend them. Um, you don't necessarily get need to get these assault ones. Um, I think Lone Star makes them, and you know, there's a lot of companies out there that make them. I just felt that I have a few other assault things on on this um, car, and I wanted to just kind of stick with it. I mean, they seem to last long. They're, they're built well, and then obviously they do a great job. I am not affiliated with the salt or anything like that, so I'm not trying to sell you guys anything. I am just a normal guy building his razor. So all I can say is definitely huge upgrades. You guys really, really should invest in some. Um, like I said, not necessarily the assault ones, but I ran them. I like them, and I think you guys should too. All right, guys, that's going to do it for this video. I hope you guys liked the quick install video. I'm sorry that it wasn't anything spectacular, but... 
they're a quick, easy, bolt-on way to make your machine great. Um, the next upgrade is definitely going to be the front ones because the front ones, oh man, I mean, you could totally tell. Um, the, the rear, you could see it just kind of, it stuck how it should and it, you could stiff, but that front end just kind of dove really hard when I was out of the throttle and going into a turn, and that's what I, I want to avoid. So the front uh, sway bar links are coming up next. I will definitely make a video on that for you guys and do another test run. But I really wanted to kind of go over these things, install them, see the difference between stock versus these, and give you guys a little bit more insight of you know what exactly they do and if it actually is worth it. I say yes. So stay tuned for the front one, and there's plenty more stuff coming. I mean. A roll cage from LSK that's I'm going to be building. Uh, it's a weld it yourself cage, so I'm going to be building that, adding some more gussets and things like that that will make me feel a little bit better. Not saying that what they build is not good because it totally is. I just want a little bit stronger. Um, and uh, I mean, just I want, I think I'm probably going to get these shocks revalved. That's probably going to be the next thing. I love them. Don't get me wrong. Shock therapy did an amazing job with these springs. Um, I just think that it could use a little bit more. Uh, these Walker Evans don't exactly have the most adjustments like the Foxes do, so that's kind of the thing where I, you kind of have to, if you want the best out of these things, you have to get them valved. So I might be hitting up Liberty Mountain, if not Shock Therapy, but no Shock Therapy is pretty much, pretty much out. I mean, they, they are uh, booked solid. So. Um, Hope you guys liked the video. As always, don't forget to like, share, subscribe. Um, hit that button right there. That little circle, hit that thing for me. I appreciate it. Don't forget that bell. Um, and as always, find me on Instagram, Facebook, at Stoked to Shred. And I will see you guys on the next one. All right, see you later.